YouTube, what is going on guys? My name is Ghost, and today I'm bringing you a brand new Call of Duty Ghost gameplay commentary here today. Uh, and we're playing on the map uh, Bayview. Uh, this is one of my more favorite maps uh, of this map pack. Uh, obviously there's four maps, and uh, I have to say I, I've played all of them uh, quite a bit actually. The one I've played the least is probably con uh, Containment, and then the second the one that I've played... Um, the, the second least, I guess you could say, uh, is the Scrapyard Remix, um, or not Remix, what I'm saying, Scrapyard, uh, Remake, um, and I can't remember what it's called, I can never remember the actual name of the map, but, uh, yeah, that's probably the one that I've played the second least, um, and Bayview and Fog are the ones I've played the most, I wanna say Fog I've played more, um, also because I've been voting for it more, just cause I, f I, I can't explain to you how much I love this map. Uh, I love this map and fog. I meant to say uh, th these are just two really, really good maps. For some reason, I kind of have like they kind of when you play them, it kind of seems like it has a little bit of like a Treyarch type feel to it. Obviously, Treyarch didn't create the maps, uh, and it's very evident because you do have that Infinity Ward feel in, in it as well. But it's kind of a more of a Treyarch feel to it uh, if you've ever played maps such as. Um, I guess maybe uh, um, not escort. Uh, what was it? Um, actually, it might have been called escort. I can't remember. Uh, oh no, encore. That's what it was. Have you ever played um, on the map encore, which wasn't really one of my favorite maps? Uh, I thought I really liked the idea of it. I thought it was pretty cool, but uh, for some reason, just this map—not the layout of the map, just the way it kind of looks and feels. Uh, kind of reminds me of Encore and Fog. Um, I don't think there's any map that really relates to it that I've played on, but uh, it kind of as well has a little bit of a Treyarch feel. Uh, just because, you know, uh, up until this map pack, Infinity Wars really hasn't put in maps that are really in a, a scenery, I guess you could say, um, that is kind of more of like a, you know, a lighthearted type feeling, I guess you could say. Like, I mean, in this, in Bayview, you wouldn't normally think that there would be, you know, uh, a war going on on a, you know, on, on like a, wh whatever type thing this is called. Not a yacht, but like, on, on a boardwalk, basically. You wouldn't think that there would be a war going on here. You wouldn't think there would be a war going on uh, in a map like Fog. Um, and Infinity War has really just released, um, up until now, more map packs that are more like, oh, you know, I could kind of see why there would be a war going on in here, you know? It's more kind of like, um, like, like foreign, uh, you know, scenery. Um, you know, we have maps like Favela, uh, you know, other maps like, like Afghan, uh, which, you know, you would... Normally, you know, you would say, okay, I I could see a war going on here. Um, and Treyarch's more like on the fun side, you know. Uh, one Like, one of my all-time favorite maps uh, Treyarch has released is actually from Black Ops 2, and that's Rush. I I love the feeling of Rush, and it's... Um, the maps I've played, or the games I've played on it, uh, for the most part, are really fast-paced, which really, you know, fits the game, or the, uh, the name of the uh, map, obviously. Um... And I don't know, I just, I really like those type of maps where it's like, you know, you wouldn't normally think of having it here, but it's creative and it's it's really fun. Because uh, if I want to play a, a really serious uh, first person shooter where, you know, it's, it's you know, it's really serious, you know, oh, this is war, you know, I'm, I need to kill this person in order to get to the objective, detonate it, and then move on to the next one, you know, you got to work as a team. I don't play Call of Duty for that. And, um... You know, Call of Duty is stereotypically a game where, you know, you have 12-year-old kids yelling on their mics, raging, uh, not, you know, without using any teamwork, and I can really understand that uh, because that, I, you know, what I have experienced and what a lot of us have experienced is a majority of those really annoying stereotypes, and I hate, you know, I hate that. But, you know, when it comes down to that, public matches, what I've played at least of public matches it's really, you know, not team-based, you know. Everyone's kind of like a lone warrior. They just go around kill whoring. Uh, and then you do have the people that play objective and don't really slay. And then you have the people that do both. And uh, back on Black Ops 2 for Domination, I really found that I was kind of doing both. I would even say, okay, I'm going to slay this game, not really play objective. 
what I would find without even really noticing it, at the end of the match I would find that I have like the second most amount of flag, you know, flag caps. I'd have like four or five flag caps. Uh, and then I go like 29 and like seven or something like that, you know? So, yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I But, you know, I, I don't know. I, I'm just, I really like this map pack. Uh, and I really hope Infinity Ward keeps going on with this uh with this type of you know fun type of uh maps and i know i kind of jumped topics there and uh i apologize i i only went 20 and 10 i had to rush to get this gameplay because all my gameplays just got wiped from my system but uh yeah so i will definitely try and bring you more gameplays um of containment and the other maps um but anyway uh that's it for now please check my twitter links will be in the description below and as always guys it's been your boy ghost and i hope to see you on my next video peace